every single person up here um, is my first choice. And that's like, who says that, you know? And I had incredible casting directors in the pilot. Um, Kim Misha and Beth Bowling. Um, once we realized what our tastes were, um, what my taste was, what kind of acting I liked, how naturalistic I liked it, um, then I just went with my gut and said, does that person feel like that person? And a lot of these people auditioned for other parts. And I said, well, you know, can you come in for that one? Can you come in for this one? But I would want to hear what you guys have to say. I mean, you read for Betty, I remember. Betty was that. <laughs> <laughs> really spoke to me. <laughs> The washing machine scene would have been a little different. Um, would have been a top loader. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, there you go. Very good. Um, go ahead. Anybody want to say anything? Well, uh, I, oh, sorry. I, uh, I d uh, didn't feel like I nailed it at all. And in fact, two weeks had, or a week had gone by after the callback, and it was, I mean, it was the only pilot I had auditioned for that year that I gave it any care about. I mean, I just thought it was wonderful. And I will never uh, never forget. It was a Tuesday. I was <laughs> sitting in my apartment, literally in my t-shirt and boxers, watching Judge Alex. <laughs> and um, <coughs> it was noon, and I hit, uh, my phone rang, and I hit pause on the TV, and they said, hey, uh, Rich, um, we were wondering if uh, you want to uh, play Harry. Uh, yes. OK, great, great. Can you be here in two hours for a read-through? Who was it? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, I will stop, and I got dressed as quickly as I could and ran it. So I, uh, it was awesome. Um, but it was way better than Judge Alex, but I don't know who won the case. Uh, but it, it was, I mean, for me, I, did, I, I, I didn't feel like I nailed it, but I did feel like it was uh, material that completely resonated with me in, in a way that I, I, you know, Matt always uses the word naturalistic with us, and it was something I remember being chided about in grad school uh, that I was too uh, naturalistic and that I refused to like uh, really expunge a lot uh, with my acting. And uh, they, <laughs> so, so for me to get a script like this that felt like talking was uh, really exciting and encouraging. So. Um, for me, uh, Rich actually said to me about two weeks ago that every, like, every 30 auditions or so he gets nervous. And this was the one for me. Because, uh, I went to the first audition, oh and it was God. awful. I definitely didn't nail it. And um, I know that because um, <laughs> at the, I think it was the rap party for the, um, for the pilot, Matt said that I was a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what he said. He said, you're a douchebag in that first audition. And I was a douchebag in that audition. <laughs> and I walked out of there, and I was like, well, I'll try to forget about that. And then I got a call saying they want you to go back in. I was like, what is wrong with the universe? Why? <laughs> I and mean, I don't know what, maybe I was naturally nervous. Maybe he was like, that's naturalistic. He seems nervous. <laughs> I haven't played the nervous guy. But uh, I'm, needless to say, very, very honored and happy to be a part of the show.